Hello, beautiful babies. Happy Monday night. Welcome once again to Isolation Libations. This is episode number 41. I'm your host, Joey Joyce. My friends call me Double Down. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that means you're definitely not in the same age bracket as me, and possibly not male, and that you didn't spend your teens and 20s obsessively watching John Favreau's 1996 film, Swingers. Now, if there's one cat I know out there who knows what I'm talking about, it's one Mr. Brian Chartrand. Now, this guy is so money, he doesn't even know, but he is, he's so money. I mean, the guy, he's got a booking agent, he's got, you know, West Coast, East Coast booking agent, uh, his car, no, 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 it's no Red Cavalier. It's got an import, you know, treats himself. He deserves it. So the fact that I get to make cocktails for this cat's music on his happy half hour on facebook.com backslash Brian Chartrand music, I'm blown away. I'm a lucky cat, what can I say? Well, uh, you might be wondering why am I talking about Swingers, the movie from 1996? Uh, it's because the cocktail we're making is called the Brown Derby. Now, the Brown Derby was a uh, Hollywood establishment, um, bar and restaurant. I believe it opened up maybe in the 20s. And uh, this cocktail, although not made at the Brown Derby originally, was named for the Brown Derby um, in the 1920s. Now, the Brown Derby uh, sadly, sadly, sadly has closed. And in Swingers, um, I know they're not at the Brown Derby that was actually shaped like a derby hat, but they were still at another location, uh, the Derby. They had a few locations around LA, from what I understand. Um, but it's a classic scene there. It's a scene where, you know, they walk in, uh, they don't wait in the line out front. They go back to the kitchen, walk past all the staff. So money, it's so money, you don't even know. Um, so anyway, anytime I make this cocktail, the Brown Derby, I can't help but think of swingers. And so of course, I've got my derby hat on, and then yes, of course, the Red Fox Room. The Red Fox Room was my San Diego version of the Derby or the Dresden uh, back in my heyday in the 90s, uh, swing dancing and all that good stuff. Uh, the Red Fox Room was the place to go. I love that place, it's still there. Um, if you haven't been, go. If I'm ever in San Diego the same time as you, let's go together and you'll love it as much as I do because the place is amazing. But um, what else? Yeah, let's just make this drink. It's a real simple one, no messing around. I mean, you know, why would you? Hollywood, it's to the point. Let's get it, let's get it done. Let's make this drink. Um, shaker, we need the shaker. Now, um, we do need to make a couple ingredients. Um, honey syrup, it's a two part to one honey syrup. So again, that's just two parts honey to one part water. Again, the reason we do that is it makes it more mixable, it dilutes better in the cocktail, easier to work with, easier to pour, easier to measure, it's better. So a two to one honey syrup, super easy. And then grapefruit juice, fresh squeeze, please. Um, easy. Get a grapefruit, juice it, Ugh. and then uh, a nice bourbon. I'm using Evan Williams, bottled in, bottle in bond, 100 proof. It's delicious. It's, uh, you can't beat it for the price. It tastes real good. Um, rumor has it, it may even make people who don't like whiskey learn to like whiskey. It's just a rumor I heard. I don't know where I got that from. But uh, now let's talk proportions for this cocktail. You'll see a few different proportions um, if you look on like punch.com, liquor.com, imbibe, etc., etc. Um, some will call for one ounce of honey syrup, one ounce grapefruit, up to two ounces bourbon. So that's like a four ounce cocktail, that's pretty big. You'll see ones with only ounce and a half of bourbon and maybe an ounce of grapefruit juice, maybe three quarter of honey syrup. A lot of different proportions. It really depends on the tartness of your grapefruit juice um, what kind of bourbon you're using. If you're using like a 100 proof one like this, if you're using something like Booker's, that's like 137 proof or something, or like a, like a Jim Beam that's only, you know, 80 proof or so. Um, 
you'll have to adjust accordingly. And also, how much you like the taste of bourbon. I love the taste of bourbon. I'm happy to drink this one just by itself. So that's why the proportions that I'm doing tonight, um, it's two ounces of bourbon, but then three quarter ounce of the grapefruit juice and only half ounce of the honey syrup. To me, the grapefruit juice does not have the same acidity that like lime juice or lemon juice would have. So I would not do it equal parts um, citrus to sweetener because I think that's gonna be too sweet. Um, if you wanted to do that, I would say almost add like a little bit of lime juice too to kind of kick up that little tartness. Um, but for me, again, I'm not trying to cover up the taste of this bourbon. I, I love it by itself. So it's just like accent the grapefruit juice and the honey syrup. I think the three quarter ounce to the half ounce is a happy spot for me. But again, play with it, see how you like it, go from there. All right, talky talk, 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 talk. Less talk, more cocktail making. So we'll start, if I can open it, yes, uh, with our honey syrup. And again, uh, this is a two part honey to one part water, and we're going to do half an ounce. And you know, this is a good thing. Like you don't have to make giant amounts of this. You know, you can make a small amount like this little bottle I have and just, you know, enough for like a couple of cocktails at a time. You don't need to make a giant thing and have it take up space in your fridge, um, have it go bad. It's so easy to do, you know, just like put it in a little, in a little pot in the stove, heat it up a little bit. That's it, that's it. Never buy simple syrup or any kind of pre-made syrups in the store please because it's just it's easier to make it at home than it is to drive to the store and buy it they're they're ripping you off okay <laughs> grapefruit juice fresh squeezed uh three quarter ounce um if you're using like a canned grapefruit juice you might use less um sometimes that's a little bit uh more tart so this is gonna have since i i just squeezed this it has a little bit more water content too. So a lot of times the, the ones in cans will, will be, have a little bit less water because it's usually from concentrate. So it's kind of balanced out and made a little bit more tart. So again, if you're using a can, uh, you might do equal parts with the simple syrup, but you know, or the honey syrup, excuse me, but check it out. You be the judge. All right, now the good stuff, the bourbon. The Evan Williams bottle and bond, two ounces. So I'm curious who else kind of grew up in the 90s and spent their teens and 20s in the 90s. You guys go swing dancing? Come on, don't be ashamed. It was a lot of fun. It's a great way to meet people. Who had a wallet chain? Who had a big old looping wallet chain? I did. I definitely did. Go thrift store shopping, get some cool like old bowler shirts. It was fun, man. Anyone else have uh, wingtip Doc Martens? I did. So money, so money. All right. Let's shake this thing. Can't wait to drink it. It is cool tonight, so I do want to give it a little, little extra love. Um, I'm gonna double strain or fine strain this brown derby. I don't feel like having extra ice chips in there. I don't think they'll melt anyway, because it's a little cool, a little cool out. Yeah, you can see it. Not a whole lot of dilution. It's nice and chilled anyway. All right, Daddy-O, here is your brown derby. Cheers to all you cats and kittens. Oh man, that's so, oh, that's good. All right, my friends, stay classy. We'll see you Tuesday night and uh, go swing dance, man. And watch swingers.